Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to another layout share. So this one is predominantly Christmas layouts which I thought I would just show you before I file them away. Whether that be in the boxes or in plastic wallets in actual albums. I may end up actually... Mm, maybe I will put Christmas in albums, I'm not sure yet. Um, before we get on to Christmas, I have come across a few more Disney layouts, so I thought I would just add those onto this video and give you a quick run through of them. So first one is using the Elle's Studio Disney-esque arrange, and then we have a couple of non-Disney collections such as Vicky Boutin colour study. That is Discovery Cove, of course, then back to L Studio with a Scrap and Reflections stencil, which I love. And back to Vicky B for some Fernwood goodness at Kilimanjaro Safari. Then we've got some Simple Stories, which of course is one of my favourites for Disney. And I do love this huge collection of Say Cheese at the Park. Got a bit of rosy studio this is a heavy heavy layout and for discovery cove this is a fun layout i think this was ooh, not sure it's got mixed media we've got stenciling and we've got splatters we've got flare from the flare hut we've got stickers and chipboard and lots of frames and goodness and this is one of my favorite papers from echo park Got another Discovery Cove using the absolutely amazing Spectrum Sherbet from 49 and Market, along with some washi tape and flare. Back to Disney-esque collections, we've got some Doodle Bug mixed in with some other bits and bobs. Love this one so much. Mikasso, this was done on a Facebook Live because I know Steph helped with that title. Well, she came up with it. She is the title queen. Then we have Disney-esque again. This is using this gorgeous paper, which I think is Ellerin Viv or something, not sure. And some more frog prints ink, love this one. Then we've got some color cast designs, acrylic with Paige Evans for another Discovery Cove. And some more Discovery Cove using a zoo collection. Love this. Let's hang. Some Cartabella. I love the textured cardstock from Cartabella. Lots of texture going on here. We've got pom pom, we've got torn paper, we've got textured paper, we've got enamel dots, we've got a foam, we've got metal, we've got all sorts going on. A couple more Spectrum Sherbet. This is a kind of double page layout that isn't a double page layout. So we've got this one with all the fun stuff and some flare from the Spectrum collection and a couple of epoxy flare and then this which I think was a sketch, I'm not sure now, um, with another die cut and lots and lots of acrylic plus lots of mixed media. This was actually using textured paste and then we've got a mixed media background, we've got pen, we've got it all going on. And then finally, we have this one using a paper from Scrap Your Trip. And I love this, it's quite basic. The paper led the way for this one, and it was just a nice, quick, and easy layout. So that is the last of my Disney scrapbooking. So let's move on to some Christmas. So first off, I don't know if I've ever showed this on YouTube, but I thought I'd give you a quick flick of an album that's actually full. This is a chipboard album. I have no idea where it's from. Um, I haven't decorated the front yet, but it's literally plain chipboard with this velvety felt spine. So I thought, shall we just have a quick flick? Now these are some of my first ever scrapbooking pages. Because when I started scrapbooking, it was all about Disney, and then I discovered Christmas scrapbooking. And then from there, we moved on to the likes of Vicky, Paige, Chamel, and so on, and scrapbooking the everyday. So, 
we've got some simple stories, we've got some of these, this is an interactive one that flips up, all of the interactive pieces you can see a video over on TikTok rather than me try and get them out but you can see that I did start experimenting we've got this cut file from Paige Evans it's um, it's so good to look back I love this design this is a go-to design the two to three the one to two split so two thirds in one one third in that and then you design all along there this is using crepe paper snowflake which I have a lot of the papers but I bought the digital collection for the embellishments because it was released before I started scrapbooking. And of course I fell in love with it, so that's how that came about. We've got another cut file where I filled the cut file with a photo. Some more interactive elements, and then I can't show you that one. Then we've got this one. This is a brilliant um, one whereby it folds out so you get four layouts in that plastic wallet we've got quite some quite basic designs I have noticed that some of the letters that I used initially which were just from the likes of Hobbycraft and the range have all fallen over so I need to fix that at some point this was a bit of a random one where I kind of just chucked everything at the page <laughs> And this is a very basic one, so you can see that this was February 2020, and so was this. And I like it, but wow, it's a lot different to what it would be like now. Same for this one, another quite a basic one. These are just some filler pages. This is another interactive one. This pulls out, this is a booklet, this is all the receipts that pull out. That's the shopping list. So I definitely loved all the interactive elements right from the start. Then we've got this one, which again is quite basic, but I love it. And this one, I definitely liked, yeah, my style at the start was very different. Now this is a page that I, <laughs> I don't like at all. It's using a pre-done background paper from Simple Stories. But then for some reason I've cut the photos of our three ornaments out because we have like special ornaments. We get one with the year on every year, usually with our names as you can see, but sometimes it just has the year. And for some reason I cut them out. I don't like it at all, but you know, it's still part of the story. So it won't be getting binned or anything. Quite a basic page, but I like it nonetheless. Then we've got this one, which again, quite basic design, but I love it. And we've got some wintry designs. This is another snowflake from Crate Paper. And this is one that I managed to get, like the chipboard and the tags. And again, this, like I've randomly just stuck things at angles. It, it's interesting to see how styles change, isn't it? Because I guess that, that is what happens. This is a double page, no it's not, ignore that. So we've got this one, I love the way that I've layered all the trees there. And it's all about the paper layers. It is all about the paper layers. This is another one that's interactive. So this is a little booklet of photos and journaling that pulls out. And that is that. This is a double page layout. Using these thickers which I really don't like I don't know why I use them probably because it's all I have because I didn't always have a huge amount of stash believe it or not quickly became that and then finally we have these two with a huge photo and this one which again so basic and at an angle it, it's it's interesting to see so anyway that is the album so they were all the first sort of layouts that I did that were not Disney. Then moving on, we have this pile. So first up, we have this one, which I love. And it's more of a decor piece because if I just switch that, it actually lights up. So it has lights going all the way around it. And I just love it. And it's got a big 25 
It's mostly used in Vicky Booten, but then I've used a decoration and some acrylic. And I have not yet put it in a frame, but that is what I will be doing with it. It's got some flair from the flare hut, of course. So yeah, that is a bit of somewhat different. Then we have this L Studio. And we've sort of made our own pattern paper with stamps. And you can see that I've started introducing lots of mixed media now. So we've got like this background ink, and we've got the stamping, we've got the splatters, which I, I love. Then we've got this hexagon, which I've filled with lots of elements from Pretty Little Studio. Um, some flair and bits and bobs. That's more of a winter than a Christmas. This one, I love this layout. It's very basic, I think. Uh, I don't know, I thought it was a sketch, but it isn't. Got flair, we've got wood. It's a hip kit predominantly. Then we've got this one with the sort of quilted effect. We've got lots of different elements, plus this frame, which I have used as a part frame, part layer. And we've got this fun one with the quilted background. Half and half design, you can't go wrong with a half and half. I know this was a scrap backwards because this was one of the sticker sheets I chose last year. Um, that one isn't Christmas. This was a sheet of pre-cut cardstock from Kaiser Craft that I used. And then I just backed it onto there. We have lots of acrylic and lots of different elements. Quite a plain but more is more with the embellishments. I just can't stop adding things clearly. I like this. This is different. Again, it's the whole 2-1. Kind of half and half 2-1. But I like the way I thought that was a double page layout. Just the way that I've sort of gone there but clearly not. This is a in your face half and half using Vicky Booten with these baubles that we've created and used pom pom trim. This was a 12 by 12 die cut sheet. I've backed each individual one and then added lots of bits and bobs. This was one of the first non Disney layouts I created back in 2020, 2019. Then we've got this one. <clears throat> All the flair on these are from Dotty About Flair, from when Natalie had Dotty About Flair, just in case you were wondering. This one, which was a Scrapper Sketch Premium Sketch, using a Warm Wishes and Hip Kit. And this one, I love this one. I, uh, I like the mix of product I've used. This one with a, another Vicky Booten, and we've got the interactive door and the interactive window with the bow, which does open. You just take that off, and then that opens up, and then stick that back on. Love that. And this also comes out. So, yeah, quite an interactive page. Then we've got this page, which has a cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict, I believe. 49 and Market, I love this paper so much. Another scrap backwards. Some hip kit and simple stories and colour cast designs. And flare hut flare, no? This is a flare hut flare, and look at that tree. Look at all that goodness. You can probably see me. Oh yeah, there you go, with my hood up. <laughs> um, plus we've got the 2XL flare down there. Lots of chipboard, it's very heavy. It is bowing, it is struggling, but I absolutely love it. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We've got 38 flare and 2XL flare on that one. Love it. Simple stories, lots of 3D embellishments. 
This was a Spiegel Mom scraps paper, paper page using Pretty Little Studio and all those gorgeous sequins. Another half and half, can't go wrong, love a half and half. This is quite laid back for me, but love it nonetheless. With the stenciling and lots of layering. Another L Studio grid. I always seem to fall back on a grid with L Studio products. Guess that's because all the paper's six by eight, I don't know. But not complaining because I love it. This was a collection that I bought all of and then questioned why I did. It's simple vintage rustic Christmas, I think, or something like that. And um, yeah, it's just it's not me really. But you know, I have it. Probably won't use it. Maybe I should give it away or destash it. Then we've got this, which I really like. We've stamped this bauble, and then I have inked the cut file part of it, and then lots of paper layers. We've got torn edges, lots and lots going on there with a couple of flare tucked in. And finally, another half and half. I seem to love doing half and half for Christmas using the awesome Vicky Booton. <coughs> So that is Christmas and the last of Disney layout share. I do have two more to come. We have a general one, which will be a fairly long one. So I might split that into two videos. And we also have one of my adventures with Kathy because I have a pile that's quite big of photos of Kathy and I, or of our cruise and crop and stuff like that. So I am going to share those as well. I know layout share videos are not for everybody and that's a-okay. But I wanted to film it nonetheless. More so for me to document it. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching and sticking around. I really, really, really appreciate it. And we will get back scrapping. I think we're going to focus on using our half done projects and getting those two boxes done. That is, that is, that needs to happen. Until next time, happy scrapping, stay safe, and I will see you all very soon. Bye for now.